Hi everyone, we've got another story for you today. Tell your grown up what animal is this on our front cover? It's a giraffe. Well done, it's a giraffe. Our title of our story is Giraffes Can't Dance. Shall we have a look what it's about? Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees but when he tried to run around he buckled at the knees. Dear, what does buckle mean? It means he's fallen over. Now every year in Africa they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely and he walked towards the floor but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald! The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up and he rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. What can he see in the sky? The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is, is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. What do you think it did? His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and he leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. And then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen. It, you can dance like that. Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head up and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Well done. Fantastic. Right, guys, what I want you to do at home is can you draw me a picture of a giraffe? And remember that he's got a very long neck, so giraffes are very tall, and they've got pattern on them. Right then, and then ask your grown-up to take a picture and send it me, because I love seeing all your work that you're doing at home. Right, thank you for listening, guys. See you soon. Bye.